Hi, I'm Josh Oliver from Zenata Consulting. In today's video, I'm going to explain custom layouts for reports in Zoho Creator. By the end of this video, you will have a more advanced understanding of layouts and be able to use them confidently in your Zoho Creator projects. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you find this video helpful. Enjoy. So in Zoho Creator, we have a few different ways we can customize reports to make them a little prettier than just rows of records and just list of fields. So we can do that using custom layouts. We have a di few different ways we can do custom layouts. The first one is on the quick view. So when we're inside of the editor, and we have a few different ways we can show the data and we can either show it as rows of records as we have it by default, or we can create a custom layout. And a custom layout could be a card of information where we show maybe it's a, an appointment record and we want, these are a few templated ones, but maybe we just wanna show some basic information. But we can always build onto this and show as much information in this card as we'd like. So let's go ahead and start off with uh, one of these pre-built ones. And in here, we can see it's gonna go ahead and bring it in and it pulls in some fields by default. So maybe we wanna change this from accounts to due date. So now we know the, by the way, the application we're working in is a task management application. So all of these tasks have a due date. They also have statuses and, and so on. So here in this view, we're customizing what data is visible and how it's going to be laid out in this card. So the subject we probably want to replace with status and I want to put subject in this field. We can bring additional fields into this card by just pulling it over from the side. So let's say I want to bring in a subtitle field and let's orient it on this side and we're going to say this is going to be for estimated hours. Now it shows estimated hours. So let's look at what this actually shows inside of the report. I'm gonna refresh my page. Now we can see there's one record here and it shows all that information that we had just assigned. So we have our due date, it's active. Here's the subject, notes would be right here and then the estimated hours. You can certainly build on this by showing as much information or as little information as you would like. So maybe you wanna build out an entire profile where you put the employee's image on the, the left and you could do their as much information of that employee as you'd like if this was an employee's module. For a task module, it might not make sense to use a report like this because you might wanna see more information, but this is essentially how you can create a custom layout for the report view. Now, this is not the only place you can create a layout. We can also create a layout if I click on the record I can customize this layout as well. And this is actually, I think, more of a common use case where you don't mind having a list view, but when you click on a record, you wanna see this in a more pretty fashion. There's some limited things we can do with this view, uh, like we can reorder these fields and we can create sections, but sometimes sections of fields isn't always the best. And maybe you have a specific page or a layout that you're trying to mimic or something else. So there's ways we can make this look prettier. And to do that, we want to set up a custom layout. So let's go ahead and show what that would look like. Now the custom layout for a detail view is actually a little bit more feature rich. We can do a little bit more than we could do inside of just the custom layout view. So I'm going to actually revert this back to just a list. So we'll just get it back to the list view. And then let's go to the detail view. When we're in the detail view of the report, we can create a custom layout as well. And here you can see there's a bunch of examples and they make them look pretty nice. So here's an example of an invoice. You can preview this. So here's what an example of an invoice might look like, assuming you have all the information you need for an invoice. They also have some others like a house listing. Here's a product listing. And you can see all that those fields come right in and we can certainly customize this further. 
but you can see the possibilities here. So these layouts are, it's a relatively new feature that Zoho is built into Creator. And so I'm gonna explain how you can build these out. So one thing you might want to do is explore a pre-built template, or you can start from scratch. When you start from scratch, it's essentially just a blank canvas, and you can go ahead and pull in fields as needed. So let's say we wanted to bring in the notes of the task. We want to bring in the subject, of course, and we want the account in here. And notice these fields, we can kind of move them around on the page. We can also, if we right click on a field, we can choose whether or not we want to show the label and if the label position. So if the label is going to be on the left, if it's going to be on the top, we can set it as a fixed component, which means this would not resize with the uh, page. Uh, so let's just move this around and let's say, yeah, we want the subject here. We want the notes here. And let's bring some more information in here. So maybe we want a whole section of information. Another cool thing is we can put in elements and we can do tabs. So maybe a tab could be for the account information. I think we can rename the tab. So if I'm looking at this tab here, we can, if we click on it, we can click style and then we can rename this tab. So let's call this account info. Maybe we want to see the task info. So we can create a bunch of different tabs with sections of information hosted within the tab. And that's another great way to clean up some space. So maybe the account information, we want to see the address, of course. But we want to see the account name. And then the task information, we want to see the subject. And then the notes. And then we can bring this whole tab group up at the top, resize in the account info. I think we can do other things like we have tabs. We can also put sections in here. So if we wanted to style this a little bit more and say within the account info, let's bring an address into the section. Account name could probably just be at the top. You could kind of see where I'm going with this, but now we can resize this. Don't really care to see the label on this, so let's just hide the label. And I won't go into detail and make this too pretty, but you can see how dynamic the builder for this layout is. And we can bring in as, as much information as you'd like. And these fields can come from any of the related records assigned. So we have, in this case, we have our address, we have phone number. We can bring the phone, phone number in. Let's see, status is also another field we have. And let's just go ahead and save this and see what it looks like. Now, whenever I refresh inside of the report, I did re revert this back to a list view, but when we click on it, now we can see information within the record. Now this account doesn't actually have an address or a phone number associated to it, so it's showing up as empty, but you would imagine it, that address would appear and same with the phone number. And now task info, you can see subject and then notes is empty. But we have so much we can do with this and we can also add other elements. So some other fancy elements you can add would be within the data. And if you scroll all the way to the bottom, we have ac access to our custom actions. So with maybe within the task info, I could bring in a custom action that says to close the task. So that's an action only for, well, it's an action to close out the task if the status is a certain status. And we can style that button a little bit differently if we wanted to. There's a secondary, we could do a checkbox. And then if we go into style, we can customize this even further by adding a radius. I think I have to click on it here first. Yep, radius. There we go. 
And yeah, there's more we can do to it, but I'm not going to spend too much time on making this look perfect. Now, whenever I save this and I go back into this view, if I click on task info, I can actually click custom actions on this tab. Now this button doesn't have to live within the tab. I could put it on the side here or really anywhere on this report. And then I can kind of make this look however I'd like. Some other cool things we can do here is certainly customizing the background color. So maybe you want to make this look gray or you could theme this with your theme color and it gives you some variations by default. My theme color is just this teal green. Uh, but if I wanted to, I could choose a variation of that. I tend to just stick with the gray scale, but you have options. And some other things we can do, we can bring in custom functionalities. Uh, one of those is just record comments. So I can bring in record comments, resize that, which is a cool feature. So if you didn't want to enable record comments, you don't have to show this but you can. And then when you're theming this, we can customize it by, let's say we want to get rid of all the padding, setting the height as auto and the width. Yes. Shadow, we could enable or disable the shadow. So maybe we want to give it like a 10 shadow and let's blur it a little bit. Where did my shadow go? Well, you get the idea. Also, if I go to just click on the background image, we can set this as a, a color. We can also add images if you wanted to just throw an image on the background or set the set it as a gradient color between two values. So you can kind of set it as a gradient and then move these around. It's our color isn't dramatic enough to see that, but let's do it this way. So it hasn't refreshed. Let's go ahead and save and re refresh this page. There we go. I refreshed it and opened it up. If you notice the gradient's not working, you might just need to uncheck it and then recheck it, and then that will get it to work again. But yeah, there you go. Now we have a nice little gradient. We can change the angle of it, but there's a lot of things we can do to style this layout to make it however we want it to look using colors, using images, change the padding of this. Maybe we wanted to set the padding for all size sides to be, uh, yeah, a certain value. And then we could also set it to fit the height of the screen or set it to a certain height. I generally just keep it as fit to screen. I think that usually works best. Some elements that we haven't really talked about yet. So we have sections, which we have talked about tab groups, we can put in tables, which would just be a table of information. Pretty straightforward. You can set the number of rows, and then within here you can add fields. So to add a field, I believe you just, let's see, insert, and then you can bring in fields of information. Insert, subject, insert, notes. And then you can create a row, another row of information. So these are nice. So if you do like looking at it in tables, then you can create that as a table here. And you're not limited by the number of columns, which you would be in a standard report. So maybe you wanted to bring this table inside of one of these tabs. So you could call this, let's see, style, other info. I don't know what you want to call it, but let's bring this tab table outside, click on other, and now we can bring this back inside. We can resize this up. Let's say we want to get rid of this column here and we want to add it as a separate row. Insert notes. And now we have something that looks pretty basic, but will show us all the information we want and is very dynamic. Now let's go ahead and save this and see where we're looking, what we're looking at. So we have our account info, tasks, which we can close. And then we have our other information, which is just a raw table of information. 
elements. We can also add icons, lines. We can pull in from image fields. If you have an image field on a record, then you could pull that in. We also have related blocks. So here we can see we can pull in from related. So maybe I wanted to pull in a new tab and let's pull in from related. Now we can see this by default just brings in all of that account information that we've already defined. So instead of a site creating a custom tab for the account or creating a custom layout for that account tab, you could just pull in from the default view for the account information related list. And so now I probably want to rename this to account. Click the X button to get rid of that. And I believe we should be able to reorder these. There we go. If you click the little three or the hamburger icon, you can move that tab around. Let's go ahead and save and see what we're looking at now. Now, if I click account, there's that account information. Other uh, and notice how the, this actually resizes based on the table what that's within the tab. So maybe this table is going to be longer than another table. It's going to resize it appropriately. The other cool thing with these layouts is we can actually expand this to the full page, which is something that's a, a new feature. We aren't able to, to do this with a standard detail view with the Lay, custom layout, we can expand and collapse this view to really take up the entire page and utilize all of that real estate. This view is also the same view you would see if you were to print the page. So when you go to print, now this is the same view you would see. So if you wanted to create something really pretty and share this, either, either print it or you could share it as a public Pub published page or published report, then you would be able to make this look really pretty and share this publicly on any report that is shared. So these, these custom layouts are very nice and we can do a lot of cool things with them as far as theming goes. When you land on a specific theme you like and you want to keep that for other applications, Another great feature that Zoho Creators team has added in here is the ability to export a theme and to import it into another application. So what that would be is when you're inside of this canvas editor, you can click this little icon up at the top called export, and it simply just exports it as a JSON table or an object. And then you can take that text file and you can import it when you are setting up a custom layout. So I can go ahead and save this here and I can click create new layout and then import that file that I had just saved. And now you can see it, it gets all formatted exactly as I'd like. Everything is in here, just how it was defined. I just demoed here that you can create multiple layouts. So we have a layout uh, two layout one, and we can kind of move between these layouts however we'd like. So if I had one report that I want to see layout two with, and I had another report I want to see layout one, we can do that. So that is high level what capabilities we have with these custom layouts in the Canvas Builder. Again, this is a new feature that Zoho Creator has released this year, and I've been playing around with it a lot. I love it. I, it is a little finicky at times, but you'll get the hang of it. You'll get very used to it. And at the end of the day, once you find something that works for you, you're going to love uh, that it's going to be in a beautiful layout and you won't really need to make any changes from there. I hope you found this video helpful and I hope it got your mind thinking about the different possibilities with custom layouts in your Zoho Creator reports. Now you should have a good idea about how to build these out yourself. If you have any questions or implementations you would like to share, please put those in the comments below or post in our community, Club Zanata. Thank you for watching and have a great day.